In episode four of Inspired Infrastructure, I'm staying out west because I just saw a great video from City Nerd about Phoenix, Arizona. And in part of that video, he talked about the sevens, which are these really unique roadways in Phoenix that I thought would be great for this series. I'm going to focus on 7th Avenue, but there's another parallel 7th Street in Phoenix where that existing roadway design is pretty much the same. There are six lanes of traffic here, and one of those is a reversible lane. And these reversible lanes have been in use for almost 50 years to manage the traffic flows in and out of downtown during the morning and evening rush hours. And despite their long-standing use, there is a lot of ongoing debate about the effectiveness of the reversible lanes. The design does carry a lot of traffic, but most of this right-of-way space is just dedicated to personal vehicles. There's no space for bikeways on this roadway, and there are very narrow sidewalks on both sides, and one of them here is frequently impeded by power poles. To transform this roadway, I think we're going to need to take a pretty big swing. We have very limited space, and to create a multimodal corridor that gets 50,000 people out of their cars, we're going to need to give them some really good options that encourage them to do so. The first thing I've done is add in some protected bikeways at the sidewalk level. And given the constrained space, I've left no separation between the sidewalk and the bikeway, so I've added some linear tactile warnings to separate those uses and ensure safety for visually impaired pedestrians. I've also done something that we do here in Minnesota, which is add some tint to the concrete of those bikeways just to help delineate the two different uses along the roadway. Next, if we want to narrow the curb lines to make this safer for those active transportation users, we need to get people out of their cars and into transit. So I'm creating a bus rapid transit system on this roadway, which would include dedicated lanes for buses in each direction, which would then be supported by some traffic signal prioritization at signals and enhanced bus stops with quick pay or prepaid fare systems so that these BRT systems can operate more efficiently than your regular bus route. So I'm using Beyond Typical's dynamic bus asset here so that I can show an articulated bus with a lot of passengers and also change the color, maybe add some branding to this new theoretical BRT system. BRT systems require a lot of investment and stakeholder buy-in, but they are a little easier to implement than a light rail system, which would be a little less flexible. And I thought I was done here, but then I thought about what it would be like to ride a bike along these streets in Phoenix when it's 110 degrees out. And I feel like in order to really encourage a mode shift away from the personal vehicle, we're gonna need to give them more amenities to make that as comfortable as possible. And that's going to be things like water stations and shade trees along the corridor. But in this model, I got a little creative and decided to get a solar canopy from the SketchUp 3D warehouse. This could be something that could provide cool shade over a BRT station and even power those BRT stations and maybe street lights along that corridor for some green energy. So after exporting that model to an OBJ file, I could import it into my Beyond Typical section and make a few tweaks to create a complete street on 7th Avenue. And this could also be mirrored on 7th Street. I'd love to hear what you think of the design, so leave a comment or email me at brian at beyondcad.com and stay tuned for more inspired infrastructure coming soon.